Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is Final Cut Pro, and we're going to show you how to actually put multiple picture in picture or video overlays. So we're going to do four up on this one. We've shown you how to do it in iMovie, which is kind of a pain in the in the butt, but in Final Cut it's so much more easier. So let's go ahead and have a look on how to do that. Okay, without any further ado, let's jump into Final Cut Pro. And this is available through the App Store for $299, which may sound like a lot, but it used to be thousands of dollars. So it's it's a lot, a lot cheaper than it used to be. So let me go ahead and show you. This is what the final product is going to look like. And I didn't do any lining up of the videos. They're kind of just up there just for uh, time's sake. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Now let's, let me show you how to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is start from scratch by deleting all the videos. And I'm actually going to create a new project and we'll call this four up. Okay. And you can set your settings here. I like to do 1080p. That's good enough. 30 frames per second, but you could switch it to 60 if you wanted. And I don't think these days you want to do anything less than 1080p. That's my opinion. Okay. Let's go ahead and start that. So the project is here. We'll double click on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag some chunks of this video clip here into the timeline. So we'll start with one. We'll drop that in the main timeline. And the way that most editing programs work is the layer that's above shows. So the more layers you put on top, the more layers cover the one on the bottom. So let's go ahead and drag the second one here. So with with the limitations of iMovie, you're only allowed to do two layers, which is why we had to do that workaround in that video. And I'll put a link to that video just in case you're an iMovie user and you want to figure out how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag. We can keep dragging as many as we need. And you can use your scroll wheel or you can scroll over here to, to give yourself more room. And we'll go ahead and move this box around to get a, another clip. Let's do there. Okay, and we'll drag that right there. Okay, so I'm going to um, even out the size of these just to kind of make them close to each other. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is make sure your scrubber is above the videos. And what we're going to do is actually start from the top. So we're going to click on this one. We're going to go over to our crop tool here or our transform tool. Sorry, our transform. You don't want to crop transform tool. And we're going to reduce the size of this video, you know, to, to whatever size you need it to be, but I'll just do kind of the, that size and I'll put it on the top left corner. Okay. Now we're going to click on the next video and it's already selected as transform. So we're good to go there. So I'm going to transform this one as well. And you can kind of put it on top of the other one to, to get the size similar and to help you kind of adjust. And that's close enough for government today. So we'll put that one right there. And next we're going to move to the next clip down. You'll notice it's still covering up that bottom clip. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll resize that one. And again, we'll try to get it to a similar size. A little bit smaller. And uh, that's pretty close. Well, one more millimeter. So that's good enough. So we'll put that one right here. Maybe a tad bit bigger. Okay. And the last one, we'll click on that one. So again, you got to make sure that scrubber is somewhere over the video. And you, the highlighted video is the one that actually allows you to make the changes. Okay. So we'll go ahead and minimize. Oh, too small on that one. Kind of use this as a guide again. A little bit smaller. There you go. We'll put that one over here. And it's a little bit laggy because I'm actually recording the screen, the audio, at the same time I'm actually editing. Okay. So what the orange is telling you is that it rendering so what you can do now is just I like to actually let it render before I do anything but you don't have to you can actually keep working in it 
So what I'm going to do is close that and I'll start playing the video and you'll notice that all four of them are playing and all four sounds are playing at the same time. So what most people do is when they do that is they pick either a soundtrack or one of the soundtracks, one of the audio tracks from the video only to, to show. You don't want to hear all four at the same time, most likely. It's possible you might. You never know. So that's what I would do. I would maybe I, I want this bottom clip here. I need this audio here to be playing. Or you can also drag in an, an audio track. Let me go ahead and import an audio track real quick. Hold on a second while I do this. Okay, let's see. Should be in the in the downloads folder. Where's that at? Downloads. There you go. We got Akiba Trip from Hiko Simon. I'm gonna go ahead and import that one. And then it'll display in our media library. We won't need the whole song, so let's see. I for in. Then we'll drag it over. Oh wow, well, we definitely don't need that much. So then I'll drag it below the actual clip here. And I'll probably shrink it up. And I'll mute that sound. And I'll probably lower it just a little bit here. So now we actually have audio for our a pretty cool song for our little montage of videos so that's how you do overlays and you can literally you can keep adding more and more and more and more anywhere you want you can make them super small you can make them big you can make them you know you can do three you could do a nice end plate outro plate for your your youtube channel so lots of things you can do okay that's it for the tutorial if you have any questions put them down in the comments thanks for watching hit that thumbs up subscribe and all that jazz and we'll talk to you next time Peace and aloha.